Hi, uh, good morning. I am Harsh Pagey from HFCL and I look after optical fiber, cable and connectivity business of HFCL. Uh, today is the third day of IMC and uh, we have seen three very good days in IMC. We have seen a lot of customers here and uh, uh, we have also launched some products in telecom. So this is a very good opportunity where we uh, come up with the new innovative products. Uh, last year we uh, launched our 1728 fiber cable over here. Uh, if uh, I talk about some opportunities which we see in optical fiber cables, there is a very big uh, opportunity in India which is uh, Bharat Net Tender in which we have participated and there is a huge requirement of optical fiber cables, almost like 20 million fiber kilometer and uh, we have four factories in India. Uh, where we are producing optical fiber, optical fiber cable and a uh, lot of raw materials which goes into the manufacturing of optical fiber cables. Uh, so we are expecting good, good uh, business coming up in India. Apart from India, we are also there in, in uh, different countries. So we are doing a very good business in Europe, US, Middle East and Africa. and. Uh, there also we are participating in uh, big tenders. Uh, currently we are uh, selling our products to more than 60 countries to almost like 80 customers which includes uh, tier 1 telecom operators like British Telecom, Virgin Media, Orange, Vodafone and uh, we have as a, as a company uh, innovation has always been our uh, forte. And we always do uh, give a lot of efforts, lot of, put a lot of efforts in innovation. We have a very big team who are working uh, in innovative, uh, in developing innovative products in different verticals. In optical fiber cable itself, in optical fiber and cable itself, uh, we have a team of uh, more than 50 people who are working uh, to develop new product all the time. Uh, we developed some products for telecom operators like uh, British Telecom, Virgin Media and uh, since then we are we are with them since last so many years we are supplying to them and we have got the major major share. Uh, in addition to this I, I, I mean in, addi in addition to telecom requirement I also see a lot of potential uh, in data center market now. This is the market which is booming now and uh, I see a lot of opportunities there. So we are developing all the products which are used in data center and this is like uh, we already have cables high uh, fiber count cables uh, IBR cables which are which goes into these data centers where data center to data center for data center to data center connectivity and inter uh, data center uh, connectivity. So these are the products which we develop and uh, we are trying to sell it to all the hyperscalers in India and even outside India. We have some very innovative products uh, for which we have got some awards also. Uh, in, in US exhibitions we got award for 864 fiber cable uh, which is one of its kind and it, which, is, which is the smallest cable globally available uh, and developed by any, any manufacturer. So we put a lot of stress on, on uh, innovation. So the future is good for optical fiber connectivity because all the new technologies, next generation technologies which are coming. So they are bringing a lot of data and uh, to store this data in data centers, in servers, you need a medium and that medium is optical fiber and cable. Nothing is better than that. So there is nothing which can replace optical fiber. So there is going to be a very good uh, demand for optical fiber cables and that is why we are focusing on expanding our capacity and uh, bringing the new products uh, which can help our customers rolling out their networks and which can resolve their problem. Um, apart from it, we are also working in connectivity solutions. So one of our division in Chennai, uh, we are focusing on developing uh, all the passive connectivity solutions uh, where we uh, design the products. Uh, we manufacture the products and we supply to, to our customers and we have uh, the total uh, from the design to the 
you know, to the solution, to the manufacturing, everything is available in-house. In fact, we also uh, produce the plastic components, which, which goes into these passive equipment. We have our own molding machines, so we design our molds and then we produce it over here in, in one of our factory in Chennai. So company is also focusing on ESG initiative, which is, which is a buzz, buzzword today. And uh, all, it is very important for all our customers, including HFCL also, because it is a, it is a cause of concern uh, today. And it's a, uh, if you are not able to uh, protect our environment, uh, then uh, you know, nothing is going to be there. So we put a lot of stress on conserving our nature. Uh, so, we have some consultants who are helping us to uh, reduce our carbon footprint and uh, we, we are also, uh, in all our factories, we are following the practices where we are conserving water, uh, we are not polluting the environment, uh, then we, in most of our factories, around 80 to 90 percent of the power which is used, it is coming from renewable power sources. And apart from it, all the water which we use for processing in our manufacturing units. So that is all recycled. So we recycle it and then we are using it again. Apart from it, in all our factories, we have we are using rain harvesting also. So we collect the rainwater, then we use it for gardening purpose. So this is how we, we, we are trying to give our bit uh, for environment protection. And uh, we are trying, we are trying to find out our carbon footprint also. Uh, we, I mean, we have a consultant who will, who is helping us to find out our current carbon footprint. And uh, then we have a target to reduce this carbon footprint to as minimum as possible in future. Something which is, which uh, gives us a product which is almost green. So most of our products are green. Apart from it, uh, we also put a lot of stress in diversification in our uh, workforce. So we have a lot of uh, women who are working in our factories and we give a lot of importance uh, to, you know, carrying uh, women also in, in the ladder uh, to the management. So uh, this is all about business, which, we, which I have spoken uh, so far. Uh, but apart from it, there is also a very big uh, point, a very big uh, uh, point which I would like to mention over here, that is gender equality. So we give a lot of importance to gender equality and uh, we are promoting the women, women workforce in our organizations, in all our factories. Uh, we also identify uh, the leaders, future women leaders and give them the right opportunities and right training so that they can uh, move ahead uh, in their careers and reach to the highest level in the management. So I personally feel that uh, woman power is uh, most important for growth of any company.